We say that the next generation is getting awfully soft, and it's really hard to fight back against that narrative whenever you see different goofy-ass cancellation attempts. And especially, this one right here is quite possibly the most egregious. Like, they're trying to cancel... Oh, let, let me just check. Judy Garland. Judy, Judy Garland. Okay, like, the lady's been dead. I think she passed away in 61 or 69 or something like that. Like, she's been gone for a very, very, very long time. But, oh, guys, she did some blackface performances when she was 17 and younger. Oh, no, that's terrible. That was going around on social media a couple of weeks ago or a week ago or something like that, about a week ago. But anyways, yeah, shout out to Gen Z for teaching me this, why Judy Garland and blackface is suddenly trending. Yeah, I didn't get it at all. It looks like somebody just, I don't know, snatched a clip of her doing a really good show number or show tune. Okay, like it's uh, obviously like she's she's totally blacked up. She's the... Uh, full-on minstrel show but boy that that lady can carry a tune that's why she was a star back in the day and that's why wizard of oz does not look like an over or just about a hundred year old movie when you watch it x post about a blackface performance by judy garland in 1939's everybody sing has stirred up an intense online discourse about the actress i, I don't really see it as intense as much as what are you doing intense mocking ridiculing and uh, some appropriate community notes on Wednesday, an ex user posts the still from everybody sing where Garland is in blackface next to a still of the wizard of Oz with the caption two movies a year apart. Same bitch. Like have some, don't speak ill of the dead. Listen, uh, as a time of recording, Jimmy Carter's on fucking life support right now. And I'll just go ahead and let some of my previous work speak for itself. He was known for a very long time as being one of the worst presidents of all time. And, well, if it wasn't for Joe Biden, that would definitely be the case for the modern era. But Godspeed into the hereafter, if that's the case by the time that this releases. Or good hanging on in hospice for like a half a year, pal. But yeah, uh, shout out to Gen Z for teaching me this. This post has received over 50 million views. 50 million views from an absolute nobody account? Like, it makes no sense at all. Kind of seems like it's being artificially amplified. But that's Twitter X for you. The post quickly went viral with users quick to defend the late actress. Many argue that Garland, who was a minor, had limited agency over the decisions to take roles. Other users cited that she was in extreme studio control and faced child abuse. And others were like, 1938, I, I don't know what to tell you. Everybody's going to look back at this time and just go, wow, you were confused what men and women were, huh? You guys are fucking weird. Following the initial backlash, uh, some of the users turned the format into the original post into a meme of posting the same text with different images. One viral tweet featured Robert Downey Jr.'s performance in Tropic Thunder. Yeah, they're eventually going to go for that one, which I wasn't even a big fan of the film when I first seen it. I'd have to go back and watch it, but... I don't really care at this point in time. It's RDJ. I like him outside of his weird takes about my matriarchy and how there'd be no wars in the world if women were in charge. <sniffs> Just go back to eating meat, okay? You were so good when you were you were a recovering junkie. In 2008, be an Iron Man. You were amazing. This whole weak, brittle, vegan bitch, though, we could go ahead and move past that. Go hang out with Mel Gibson again, okay? Get fucking straight. Yeah, man. Um, It's called acting. Yeah, it's acting. You dress up and pretend to be somebody else. And yeah, maybe you're just trying to play a part. Maybe you're trying to have a laugh. Oh, uh, being black's nothing to laugh at. Well, I don't know. Have you seen you guys' antics in fucking the department stores? It's just pretty funny. However, many ex-users have defended the original post, arguing that people's quickness to defend Garland overlooks the other issues the original post is calling attention to. Some users also argued that the intense criticism the original post received is curious. Yeah, exactly. It just goes to show you, like the headline uh, implies, shout out to Gen Z. Yeah, because Gen Z soft as fucking butter okay case in point fat bottomed girls not my favorite queen song and i'm a big queen fan i like it a lot and yeah actually the uh the subject in question here yeah don't stop fat bottomed girls from making the rocking world go round uh fat bottomed girls is apparently no longer allowed to make the rocking world go round that is at least if the streaming service yoto don't know what that is which recently re-released queen's greatest hits which I will just grab for my collection right now just to show you. I'll give you a little, you know, credibility on this one. There it is. Boom. Just in case you don't believe me. Okay, yeah, no, it's it's the classic one. Make sure that I don't have, you know, any of the additional glare that's on there. But yeah, no, I, I, I got my cred that's on there. Okay, it's, it's real. 
Hopefully I got the disc in there. Yeah, nope. See, it's all right there. I got I got CDs and shit because I'm old as fuck. But uh, yeah, number actually my copy has Fat Bottom Girls at six. And actually, this is superior because I also have uh, Greatest Hits Volume Two. But this one's superior because it has Seven Seas of Rye. Uh, I want to break free. Actually, I think the other one. Let me just check. Oh, no, right. This one's Classic Queen. I have other Queen albums as well. Okay, so. Oh, this one has, okay, Bohemian Rhapsody, Under Pressure. Oh, Hammer Default. That's my favorite Queen song. I was racking my head, uh, racking my brain to think about it. But then there's also another song from the Flash Gordon soundtrack that absolutely fucking kicks. Give me the prize. That's what it is. Okay, see, your boy's a Queen fan. And I knew eventually, at some point in time, they were going to come for fat-bottomed girls. Given the current trend of, oh, you can't be calling girls fat. It's like, it's, it's so funny, right? Because you can't say it directly, but you can worship from afar. That's what they're trying to tell you with this, because this op-ed actually has some good comparisons and some valid points to bring up. Uh, so yes, uh, this Calipesian ode. Ooh, somebody got out there, Thesaurus. Oh, what today would be considered a body positivity anthem. See, that's a good point to bring up right there. Comes nowhere near the threshold of offensive or obscene. Yet the Fat Bottom Girls debacle is just the latest instance of classics being censored to appease modern sensitivities. Yeah, exactly. What is it? Is it Sultans of Swing? Yeah, no, it's Sultans of Swing that ended up getting the Rainbow F slur censored out. That was a long time ago. Man, that's over a decade at this point but yeah in fact classic music classic books alike have been retroactively sanitized in recent years to protect children yeah huckleberry finn with n-word jim like that was removed even before desantis came out and he started burning books what about sticking dicks in kids faces so funny right you'll just have what sam smith videos that are out there but fat bottom girls yeah that's a bridge too far mostly because well biological women's big round asses you know, we can't be seeing those well, especially the ones of those shades. Uh, Dr. Seuss Estate went as far as to yank six uh, titles. Yes. Oh my God. That was from a while. Yeah. From 2021, including, and I think I saw it on Mulberry Street. What was that alluding? And Beyond Zebra. Oh, exa uh, that's probably about race mixing. Uh, citing supposedly offensive content in the picture books. And over the decades, Richard Scarry's classic children's books have been retroactively tinkered with time and time again by sensitivity readers. Editors sought to counteract gender stereotypes by making a police bear, oh yes, a police woman bear, why, what did the uh, assailant to get away, and swapping out an illustration of a mom cat pushing a stroller to a dad cat. That one's actually fair because they're both pussies. Not even Charlie and the Ch Chocolate Factory is safe. Yo, that was the first book that I ever read. Shout out to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. New version released by Penguin Publishers. You know, I might actually have an... Uh, God, no, that's probably actually really buried at my folks' place. So that's not something that I could easily get. Roll Dolls Classic calls Augustus Gloop enormous rather than fat. Yeah, but Augustus Gloop is a fat piece of shit who ends up getting fatter and a bigger piece of shit after he... Does he drink out of the chocolate water fountain? I think so. Features, yeah, gender neutral Oompa Loompas. Now they're tiny dudes, okay? Because otherwise he'd be bigoted if you compared Oompa Loompas to Donald Trump. Like, come on now. Oh, is that a face swap in, uh, on the one in the top right-hand corner, or is that just Joe Biden in his earlier years? Tell me you don't see that. Tell me that's not Joe. Anyways, shout out Gene Wilder. That motherfucker's hilarious. Speaking of uh, movies that are eventually going to be censored, but Blazing Saddles? Oh my god, dude, stars and garters. Thank god I've got my copy. If I can grab that too. Fuck, since I'm showing off everything. Get your copies. Get your copies because you know when they eventually try to go to a fully digital streaming future. Oh, this thing ain't lasting. Okay, it is 93 minutes. 93 minutes on the disc. Yeah, it might make it to about 26. It'll go from the introduction to the sheriff to the fight through the Warner Brothers lot at the end. That'll be about it. But yeah, as she points out right here, here you have Meg the Clydesdale appropriating white culture by having what guns and roses you can kind of keep them except for like one and a half albums uh acdc and a couple of other oh led zeppelin on the back too so just getting all of the fucking generic shit you know appropriating that stuff but oh no no that's fine though you just never works in the other direction as some who has brought up the area of or the era of youtube and music streaming yeah exactly go ahead and censor fat bottomed girls but at the same time you know you can just go ahead and stream on any fucking platform wet ass pussy Good stuff. I know firsthand, uh, just about any music that you could possibly imagine is available at the fingertips as a kid, whether the censors like it or not. Uh, for instance, oh yeah, there it is. Actually, didn't know that was there. 
Uh, take for instance, Megan the Stallion smash hit Plan B. Oh my fucking god, she. Yeah, the bit. It's not like I would want it taken down, but the bitch has a song about the morning after pill. What the fuck? Uh, the verse which declares, "Dear fuck knitters." No, it ends with an A. I don't know. I don't know what that word is. Uh, still can't believe I used to fuck with you. Pop and plan B's because I ain't planned to be stuck with you. Fantastic. But Freddie Mercury belting out, oh, I want to take you home tonight. Oh, down beside the red fine line. Yeah, that's too far. Uh, WAP, short for wet ass pussy. We all know. Considering how much they twerk, it's doubtful Cardi B and Megan the donkey would be offended by fat bottomed girls. No, and if Cardi B was mad at you, she'd just throw a fucking microphone on you and then never end up facing assault charges a fucking professional whore yeah anyone trying to kid proof the world will find themselves in a constant game of whack-a-mole or you know if the woke censors end up having their way we'll all just grow up listening to the dulcet hums of hillary clinton while we all just dance six feet apart from each other with our uh, with our elbows bent at a 90 degree angle while we take the appropriate company steps from the left and to the right while we just bob our head and pledge allegiance to the dear leader or fuck it it'll just get super degenerate and it'll just be a return back to the 80s where we'll actually have some you know creativity and some bitch in music because they already have the you know satanic iconography that all the trad cucks are just clutching their pearls over oh god they they they're satanic music it's like yeah d snyder and blackie lawless would like to have a fucking word with you so with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don Consuelo, I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.